Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub. I hope you are doing great. And in today's video, we are going to talk about very important and interesting term. And I am sure you must have used this term during analytical method validation. The term is the accuracy. So we evaluate the accuracy during method validation, maybe for assay or impurities. We also call sometimes accuracy as the trueness or bias or recovery. Now the question here is, are these terms really one, same or are they different from each other? I am sure you may be having the same curiosity as like me in understanding this each and every term so that next time you will not get confused. And this could be a potential question during your next interview in case the method validation is a part of your job description. So let us begin with the discussion now. And I am going to talk about the these four terms in the context of four different guidelines. And the first one is the ICH. So the current ICH guideline Q2R1, which is for validation of analytical procedures, has given the definition of accuracy. The accuracy of an analytical procedure expresses the closeness of agreement between the value which is accepted either as a conventional true value or an accepted reference value and the value found. Sometimes the accuracy is also termed as a trueness. So in essence, according to the ICH guideline Q2R1, Accuracy is nothing but the closeness of agreement between two values. The value that you have found and what is the true value. So value found is your end analytical result. And true value means probably the value or the content of the analyte present into a sample. That may be the amount of standards spiked into the sample. So that becomes your true value. So for example, you have spiked 10 microgram per ml of the reference standard. And you found at the end of analysis, that is the 9.8 microgram per ml. So that becomes your, uh, the value found. And that is the measure, the closeness of agreement. So how closely your results with respect to the true value is called as the accuracy. And sometimes, according to the ICH, the accuracy is also called as or termed as the trueness. But ICH has not further explained any details about the trueness. The second important guideline that we are going to discuss today from the URA came. The, the fitness for purpose of analytical methods. So according to this guideline, now this guideline talks about trueness. And according to this guideline, the accuracy is nothing but the combination of trueness and precision. It is not only trueness or not precision, but it is the combination of trueness and precision. So this is what the URACM says. So, if you want to evaluate the accuracy according to the URACM, the trueness will be established plus the precision of each, I mean the precision between the measurements also needs to be evaluated. So, it is a combination of trueness and the precision. And the precision can be evaluated in terms of percent RSD. And the trueness can be evaluated in terms of, let us say, bias or recovery. Now, what is the NVISA? Now, according to the NVISA guideline, the accuracy of an analytical method must be obtained by the degree of agreement between the individual results of the method under study in relation to a value accepted as a true. And the second important point given into the NVISA Brazil guideline is the accuracy shall be expressed by the percentage recovery. 
so these two points are very important accuracy is nothing but the degree of agreement between value found and true value which again goes uh, hand in hand with the ICH uh, definition and further the NVISA guideline also has given the guidance on calculation of accuracy or expression of accuracy which is the percent recovery the th fourth important guideline is the AOAC the guidelines for single laboratory validation of chemical methods for dietary supplements and botanicals. So according to this guideline, the definition of accuracy is this way. The term accuracy has given so many meanings that it is better to use a more specific term. The guideline has also accepted that there is a lot many synonyms, the terms used to just mention this one term accuracy Ordin uh, ordinarily it means closeness of the test result to the true again it is go in hand with the ICH or NVISA Brazil how your observed value is close with the true value that is called as the accuracy of the method it is further said that in case if you report the final value by more than one measurement that means you are going to average the set of values and then if you report it then this accuracy can also be called as a bias or trueness so further let us break down the meaning of accuracy as per the AOAC accuracy is closeness of test result to true value or accepted value which is as good as the NVISA, as good as the ICH requirement. The bias is a new term which AOAC guideline talks and it is defined as the difference of reported value from the accepted value. The difference of reported value from the accepted value and if the accepted value is the true value then can we say that the accuracy is nothing but the bias? The third point accuracy is nothing but the bias because in the bias we are also calculating the difference between observed value and the true value so accuracy can be bias as we proved and that also can be said trueness when the average of a set of value is reported when the average of a set of value is reported that means in case if you are going to define the recovery not with a single measurement but with the multiple preparation multiple measurements and you are going to make the average of that report and if the average value is reported out of let us say nine determinations then your accuracy or bias can also be called as a trueness and according to this AOAC guideline accuracy can be expressed as a percent recovery as also mentioned into the NVISA Brazil guideline. Now having discussed these four dif uh, different guidance document, let us now come to a conclusion. So the first point is this accuracy and trueness are the qualitative descriptions. The second important point is this bias and recovery are the quantitative measures. And final point is very important, this accuracy and trueness can be expressed as recovery and or bias. So whatever value that you are going to report, it must be in terms of recovery or in terms of bias. So the accuracy and trueness can be a synonym for, for each other and how to express those accuracy or trueness in terms of the percent recovery value or in terms of the bias value now the percent recovery value you know the calculation formula how it can be done the uh, the amount found divided by amount added into 100 that becomes your percent recovery and the bias can be termed in terms of just absolute difference means the value found minus uh, the uh, the amount added or the uh, amount found 
minus amount added. The bias can be calculated just with the absolute difference of amount found minus amount added. Or if you want to calculate the bias in terms of the uh, relative term, the relative bias, then again it will become amount found minus amount added divided by amount added into 100. So that becomes the relative bias. So I hope you must have now understood what is, what is the meaning of these four different terms and what they actually relate uh, in terms of their qualitative description or in terms of their quantitative measures. Thank you so much.